What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I want to talk about what looks like it could be the start of the next Great Depression. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. I have a giveaway going on right now. Join before July 1st if you want to get entered, and I'm also going to be going live in the VIP Club tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. And of course, make sure to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer one friend by tomorrow night and they're going to give you 10 free random stocks. Refer three friends by tomorrow night and they're going to give you all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple. One day left. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Wednesday, June 29th, 2022. The current spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $20.78. It's down $0.05 cents today so far, or down 0.24%. A mild red day for the beautiful white metal, but it's back down into the $20 an ounce range. Spot price of gold is $18.16.30. It's down $4.10 today so far, or down 0.23%. A mild red day for the beautiful yellow metal as well. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 87 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video at like 4 o'clock in the morning, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. All right, so... Being that the spot price of silver is back down below the $21 an ounce mark, that is something that I wanted to really focus on today. But I wanted to start off by talking about the current state of the economy because according to this chart from Bloomberg Finance, the first half of 2022 has been the second worst start in history behind the Great Depression. So... The worst start in about 90 years. And if you look, this year we're seeing negative 22.9%. And I know it's hard to see. There was another chart I was looking at from JP Morgan Equity Macro Research presented by Kevin Pafrath. And the file somehow got screwed up, so I apologize if it's a little blurry. But that negative 22.9% is measured from the beginning of the year to June 17th. Then the second half of the year gets measured too. Obviously, we're not there yet, but it goes from June 17th to the year's end. And what's interesting is on the list of years with the worst starts, we usually end up seeing gains in the second half. For example, the worst start on the list was during the Great Depression in 1932, where the first half was negative 40.5%. And then the second half was up 43.3%. The third worst start on the list was the Kennedy slide of 1962, where the first half of the year was negative 21.9%. And then the second half of the year up 12.9%. The fourth worst start on the list was during World War II in 1940, where the first half of the year was negative 19.9%, and then the second half of the year was up 6%. The fifth worst start, and I'll stop after this one, but the fifth worst start was during the Vietnam War in 1970, where the first half of the year was negative 17.4%, and then the second half of the year was up 21.3%. So four out of the five, the top five worst years, started in the negative and ended in the positive. The other one of five years, the year we're currently in right now, which is only half over, started the same way. 
Will it end the same way? Time will tell. And I know this year has been brutal for all of us. All of the markets taking a hit, rampant inflation, negative GDP, layoffs, the list goes on. But historically, we should, in theory, pop back up before the year's end. Could this time be different? Absolutely. But I'm just shedding a little bit of light on how all of the other top five worst years started and ended. There's still hope, people. And for those of you who have been watching the channel for at least a few months, you should know that my guess since the first quarter of this year has been that inflation will begin to inflect down and start to drop a little bit closer to where it should be in Q3. So sometime in July, August, or September. And I'm not declaring that inflation will come down in Q3. That's just an assumption I came to based on the trends we're seeing and the Federal Reserve's FOMC meeting schedules. So don't forget, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I'm a genius. But with all that said, as for how the second half of the year will go, again, time will tell. But in addition to that chart or those charts that I just showed off, let's take a quick look at the stock market and how it's been behaving as of lately. Last week was a pretty strong, solid week in the green. It followed a pretty heavy red week the week before. But as for this week, though, I mean, it's four o'clock in the morning as I'm filming, so the market isn't even open yet for me. But so far, so red. Monday was mildly in the red, and then yesterday we saw a pretty steady decline throughout the day. I mean, here's a screenshot of how yesterday went. The S&P 500 closed down 2.01%. The Dow Jones closed down 1.56%. The NASDAQ closed down 2.93%. Red across the board. And God only knows... What today will bring us, by the time this video comes out on YouTube, the market will have already opened and closed, but if you're in the Precious Metals VIP club, you would have been able to watch this video this morning. Remember, I have a giveaway going on right now, and you only have one day left to join. So if you want to be entered for a chance to win a prize, link in the description. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial-free over there as well. And also, really quick before we move on to silver and gold, let me just quickly mention, since we're on the topic of the stock market, just a friendly reminder to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you deposit any amount, even as little as a penny, and it still works. Refer one friend by tomorrow night, You've got one day left, and they're going to give you 10 free random stocks for the referral. Refer three friends by tomorrow night, You've got one day left, and they're going to give you all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple, each one worth about $140 right now. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. Time is running out. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. They're free. Just sell them. Congratulations. Now you have the cash to go and get you some silver, gold, or whatever else you want. We will link in the description. All you got to do is click that little invite button and send it to three people that you know. It's quite literally that simple. But now moving away from all of that, moving away from the stock market, moving away from a potential Great Depression 2.0, moving away from everything that we talked about in the first half of the video, let's now get into the silver and the gold. As I am filming the video, the spot price of silver is back down below $21 an ounce, premium excluded, of course. I thought this was pretty interesting, and to be honest with you, I didn't realize they had dropped under $21 an ounce. If I knew, and that's probably what I would have designed this video to really be focusing on, so I wanted to focus on that in the second half of the video, back down below $21 an ounce. This right here, right now, could be a major opportunity, and... Unfortunately, as I've been saying the last maybe two or three weeks, 
I've been depriving myself of silver on purpose because I'm waiting for the third quarter of the year. I'm waiting for July to roll around so I can get a 5% discount on all of my silver and gold that I pick up online, that is. And with it being $20.78 right now, and the average premium being about $4 as of maybe mid last year, mid 2021, the premiums dropped back down from the $5 range to about the $4 range, give or take, something that I noticed. With that being the case, tack a $4 premium on top of the $20.78 spot price, we get a roughly approximately about $24.78. That means we're able to walk away with a troy ounce of silver for under $25. As far as I'm concerned, that's incredible. And I'm looking forward to capitalizing on this opportunity. And I hope to be able to come July. Only about a day and a half away from that. But what I think I'm going to do from here on out, for the time being at least, I'm going to continue sticking to the 90% as I've been for the last year and a half to two years at this point. I'm going to stick to the 90%. But... There's something else that I'm also going to be going after. And if you're in the Precious Metals VIP Club, you know exactly what's going to be going on. I have some interesting idea for a YouTube video that I don't believe has ever been done for silver or gold, that is, anything Precious Metal related. Looking forward to that. That video should be filmed, edited, and uploaded within the first two weeks of July. Looking forward to that. But I have something interesting coming, so be on the lookout. But with the spot price of silver being on the decline right now, and also, by the way, just, you know, not for nothing, let's not forget, it's not silver that's on a decline right now. It's absolutely everything. Everything has been moving in a downward direction. Silver is in the red. Gold is in the red. The stock market is in the red. And guess what? Even the digital currencies are in the red. I mean, you can look at this right here. These are the live prices of the top five. Look at that. Bitcoin is under $20,000. It's down almost 1.5%. Ethereum is down over 1.5%. Doge is down almost 1.5%. Sheeb is down going on 2.5%. And Cardano is down almost half a percent. So even the digitals, even the crypto, I'm now refusing to call them cryptocurrency, by the way, or digital currencies. I'll call them crypto. That's fine. But I view them as software, not currency. Still not really my thing. I just wanted to point that out because it's another example of something else that's back in the red, deep in the red steadily declining so it's not just silver it's not just gold it's not just the stock market it's not just the cryptos real estate doesn't really seem to be doing so hot at the moment either we're not looking at a full-on real estate crash at least not yet i posted a video a couple days ago talking about all the problems regarding real estate at the moment and why i personally believe Real estate is next in line to get smacked. You should definitely go and watch that video if you haven't already. It's really important. But back to the silver and the gold. I'm going to keep stacking that 90% for the most part. Like I said, I have something pretty interesting coming up in July, so I'll probably pick up eh, maybe a couple pieces of something that I, I've never owned before, never even seen in person before regarding silver. But for the most part, I'm sticking to 90%. It's where I can get the best bang for my buck. It's, what's, it's just what makes the most sense to me. Lowest premiums that I'm able to get my hands on. Arguably the most recognizable. Constitutional silver. To me, it just makes sense. It's the most recognizable. It carries the lowest premium. And it's the most convenient. Not to mention, it's fractional silver. Fractional silver coins. Washington quarters, about one-sixth of a troy ounce. Half dollars, about one-third of a troy ounce. 
Roosevelt dimes, Mercury dimes, about one fourteenth of a troy ounce. I'm able to make change. See, the cool thing about coins is that if you go to the store and you hand over, a, a, let's just say, a one dollar bill and you get change back, you're going to get the quarters, dimes, maybe even the half dollars. Making change for that dollar bill. Well, guess what? The same thing happens with larger denominations of silver. You can make change. You can break a troy ounce. If you have a troy ounce of silver, let's just say a one ounce silver sunshine bar. You can make change for that. Let's just say I was selling something and I was selling it in silver. Which, by the way, I'm probably going to be doing another run of DYDSS t-shirts and hoodies in exchange for silver if anybody's interested in making that type of a transaction. Reach out to me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm probably going to do that next month. But with that being the case, you can make change for a troy ounce of silver. If somebody was selling something for, let's just say, two-thirds of a troy ounce, maybe you don't have any fractional silver, so you fork over a one troy ounce silver bar. Well, it costs two-thirds of a troy ounce, so they can give you back one-third of a troy ounce and change, a.k.a. a silver half dollar. Or two silver quarters. So you can make change for larger denomination pieces of silver, and I think that's really cool. I think it's incredible that you could do that with the 90%. It's fantastic, and you can do it in larger amounts as well. Just get 12 silver half dollars. That's two troy ounces of silver right there. Get 18. That's three troy ounces of silver right there. A belt. And you can take as many of those coins away as you need to make change for whatever it is that you're buying if you're transacting in silver. So I think it's pretty interesting that you're able to do that. And right now, it's pretty nice to know that we're able to do that for a slightly lower dollar amount, with spot price being a little bit lower than it was earlier this week in the $21 an ounce range. I think it was pushing $22 an ounce for a little while, but right now it's back in the $20 an ounce range. It's under $21 an ounce, premium excluded. Could potentially be a massive opportunity. I'm looking forward to loading up on, hopefully, a bulk order of 90% and get that 5% discount. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to the Great Depression 2.0, Objectively speaking, let's not talk about our opinions over here. Looking at the numbers, looking at the trends, looking at the charts, looking at the graphs, looking at the actual data, do you think it's realistic to say that we could very well end up in a Great Depression 2.0 type of situation? Think it's possible? You think it's realistic? You think it's a ridiculous thing to say, potentially? Let me know in the comments. And then, of course, with the spot price of silver being under $21 an ounce, premium excluded, what are your thoughts on that? Are you going to be backing up the truck? Are you going to be loading the boat? Are you going to be going after a whole bunch of silver this weekend, potentially? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs, and a bunch of different designs. A lot of the products are helping us raise some funds and awareness for different charity organizations, by the way. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways every single month. Remember, I have one going on right now. Join before July 1st if you want to get entered. One day left. Live streams multiple times a week. I will be going live tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. Deal alerts on silver and gold almost every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. And every Saturday morning, I post a brand new vlog. 
and there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP club link in the description. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Normally it's two free stocks, but they bumped it up to six for this month only. So you have one day left to capitalize on this opportunity. You can deposit any amount, by the way, even as little as a penny. It still works. It still counts. You still get your six free stocks. If you refer one friend to the app by the end of the month, one day left, Weeble's going to give you 10 free random stocks for the referral. It's part of their advertising budget. Rather than wasting currency on billboards and TV commercials, they reward their users for helping them build their app with them. And you can do this up to 10 times for the month. Refer 10 friends. That's 100 free stocks. 10 each. And then, of course, if you refer three friends to the app by the end of the month, Weeble's going to give you all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple on top of 30 free random stocks, 10 each. But you get all the way up to 15 free shares of Apple. Maybe you'll get all 15. Maybe you'll get 10. Maybe you'll get one. It's completely random, but you get what you get and you don't get upset. You're guaranteed at least one, though. So no matter what, you're still walking away a winner. Don't pass up on an opportunity. Weeble link in the description. Time is running out. You only have one day left to make the most of these promos. Weeble link in the description. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. Then just sell them. They're free. Now you got the cash to go and get you some silver or maybe some gold if that's what you want. Weeble link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? Realistically speaking, logistically speaking, objectively speaking, emotions and opinions to the side. I think it's possible for us to fall into a Great Depression 2.0. According to the numbers, according to the data, according to the charts, according to the graphs. Is it a possibility right now? Is it likely? Or is it completely unrealistic and just ridiculous to even say let me know your thoughts on that in the comments and then of course everything related to the second half of the video silver what are your thoughts on the spot price being back down below the 21 dollar an ounce range are you going to be going after any silver this week or maybe this weekend are you going to be focusing on the beautiful white metal or maybe regardless of spot price being down right now maybe you're focused a little bit more on gold maybe you're paying more attention to the beautiful yellow metal at this time Maybe you want to put a little bit more attention over there. Diversify a little bit. Or focus on it for maybe a better chance of stability during these rocky economic times. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.